Jet Edge intensifier pumps are designed for maximum performance with minimal service or repair. By following a routine maintenance program, you can ensure that your Jet Edge pump performs at its best for years to come. The nitrogen pre-charge in the hydraulic accumulator should be checked monthly to verify sufficient pressure. To check the pressure, you will need an accumulator charger, charging gauge, and fittings. Remove the safety cap off the top of the accumulator. Then remove the top off the Schrader valve. Make sure the gauge is turned all the way down. Thread the needle valve assembly onto the valve stem far enough to ensure the accumulator valve seat is open. Do not over tighten. Turn the needle valve on the gauge assembly slowly clockwise and observe the pressure reading. The pressure should read 1,500 to 1,800 PSI. If the pressure is sufficient, turn the needle valve fully counterclockwise to close it. Then turn the bleed valve slowly counterclockwise to relieve any pressure. Disconnect the gauge and hose assembly and reinstall the caps. If the pressure is low, add nitrogen following the instructions in your manual. Water filters should be replaced every 250 hours of operation or sooner depending on local water conditions. This is the 1 micron filter. It is the first in line. And this is a 0.45 micron filter. To replace the filters, simply twist off the canisters and replace the filters. Make sure you keep each filter in the correct location. This is the high pressure filter. It goes into the filter body. The high pressure filter should be changed every 250 working hours or sooner if debris starts to destroy orifices. Remove the water line from the bulkhead and from the top of the filter body. On the filter body, note that there is a step that the filter fits down on. The filter goes right to the bore and drops in. To replace the hydraulic filter, make sure the hydraulic pressure is zero. Place a drip pan under the filter and use a band or chain wrench to remove the filter. The filter will be heavy and full of oil. Remove the o-ring. Install a new o-ring and filter. Lubricate the bearings on your electric motor to extend its life. Motor documentation can be found inside the door to the electrical assembly. There are grease circs on each end of the motor. Manually grease the bearings following instructions in your manual. To check for water leaks, look for water in the plastic bottle. If there is excessive water, trace the drain line supplying the leakage to its source. This will tell you which seal needs to be replaced.